only on SNA. Halftime na Battle of the Rivals and Beda contra sa Letran. Lamang ang Letran sa score na 34-27. At alam nyo ba, simula pa lang ng season. Pero grabe na talaga yung standard ng ating mga hardcore kings. So, tingnan muna natin ang mga top plays dito sa BTR. Patuloy ang mga heart-stopping plays at game-winning shots sa pag-init ng NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Let's look back at the top 10 plays of the week. Ito ang number 10. Michael Galisan, babasa walo ang lamang ng LPU. Oh, nice. Uh, magandang sundot mula oh. dito kay Gayosa. At sumabayan pa niya si CJ Perez. Ninakawan ni Alfred Gayosa ang opensa ng Pirates. Humataw sa fast break at kumana ng isang hang time finish. Sa number 9. Smart plays in the, in, inside the floor. Ang number three score ng liga, unstoppable. Tate Tiodoro with a killer crossover and pump fake combo. Dito naman sa number eight. Two attempts in that play for the EAC Generals. Nambatak eluding. Nahilo ang depensa sa behind the back move ni Ray Nambatak para sa Letra Knights. Para naman sa number 7. Way outside. Pasa pala yun eh. <laughs> no basket, no problem. Para kay Gio Laschetti, who scores with the putback to beat the clock. Dito naman sa number 6. And Presbytero crosses the half-court line just in time. Supalpal ni Hamadu Lamino. Isang napakatinding tapal mula kay Hamadu Lamino ng EAC. No entry para sa Red Lions. Para naman sa ating number 5 play. <laughs> Red na maroon pa. Kito, nakakuha ang bola. All alone is Bong He's all alone on the break. Kaya naman, isang one-handed jam ang inihataw ni Bong Quinto laban sa Heavy Bombers. Here at number four. Against Juju Bautista ng Batak. Nice drop off to Jeyo Ambod. Misdirection para sa depensa mula sa Stingray ng Letran. Bago nahanap si Jeyo Ambod para sa isang clutch basket. At number three. Parinyari University, yung mga players nila sobrang gigil nung unang leg ng NCAA on tour. Nanigas ang Altas defense sa isang killer crossover at finish courtesy of Lawrence Victoria. At para sa first runner-up this week. Ayun, nabitawan ni Flores ang bola. Teodoro has the basketball. Grosbe picks it up. Mendoza for the tie. Oh! Are you kidding me? Mendoza, Jed Mendoza's clutch three-pointer to force the game into overtime. I told you, there is a history of overtime. At para sa ating number one play of the week. They're going to switch everything here. Oh, they're not switching. De La Cruz, pinigay kay Salado. Salado for the win. Oh! Ang bagong batas ng Arellano University. Kentoy Salado with a game-winning basket in overtime. All hail to the Chiefs! Ibang klase talaga ang level of play dito sa NCAA. But before we jump back to our cardiac game, sagutin niyo muna ang aming question of the day. Sino ba sa tingin niyo ang player that best represents the hashtag NCAA Strong? At kung meron pa kayong mga comments or photos na gustong i-share at mga itanong, gamitin lang hashtag NCAA Season 93. We will be back for more basketball action, so stay good. Tayo po'y nagbabalik sa SNA at SNA HD, Channel 166 on Sky Cable. Kayo po'y nakatutok sa pangatlong laro ng NCAA Season 93 ngayong Martes, July 25, 2017. 
at the half lamang po ang Letran 34 to 27 kontra sa kanilang rivals San Beda Red Lions Andre Felix ginoong game time mix bustos mix tabla tayo ng first quarter 15 sa 15 lumamang ang San Beda as much as 8 but Letran really stepped up the, their gears in the second quarter at lumamang sila 19 to 12 Kaya nga, may pitong punto silang kalamangan ngayon. Alam mo, Dre, uh, you, 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 you spoke about that blast ng Letran. It all started with, with that 9-0 run nung start ng second quarter. At ngayon talaga, nung pumasok si Jeric Balaza at si JP Calvo nung game, things changed para sa Letran. And their adjustments on defense, that's why makikita nga natin sa halftime stats, bench point. Nasabi ko nga, Jeric uh, Balaza and JP Calvo with combined 17 points. Sa kanila yung dalawang yan, JP Calvo with 9 Jeric with 8 and also rebounding story. Mas hustle, mas uh, may desire ang uh, kunin ng bola para sa Letran for this uh, for that first half. Pero ngayon sa assists department naman is Robert Bolik leading the way para sa kanyang kumpunan with 3 assists. Itingnan din natin ang ating leading scorers in the, this game. Para sa San Beda, si Robert Bolik ang katangi-tanging mama na may double figures in this game. 10 points. Sumunod na kay Bolik. E puro tres na yan. 3 points for Pats, 3 points for Mokon, 3 points for Noah, 3 points for Abuda, 3 points for Doliges. Baka naman sa Letran, medyo balance yung scoring mix. Well, uh, Bong Quinto leading the way with 9 points. JP Calvo and Jeric Balanza nga na-mention ko kanina. Coming off the bench with 17 points. At si Ray ng Batak, hindi rin papahuli dyan with 7 points also. Pero nga ngayon, siguro yung naging struggle ng San Beda for the first half is they were limited to outside shots because of the zone defense of Letran. Kaya ngayon, it is up to the San Beda Red Lions if they want to remain aggressive, going hard to the basket para hindi at least sila maging one-dimensional, you know, taking those outside baskets. Well, last season mix, nung season 92, nung elimination round, San Beda won in their first game. Nung opening day at the Mall of Asia Arena, the score was 89 to 85. And then San Beda also won back in August 26, 2016, 83 to 71 contra sa Letran. According to Coach Jeff Napa, eh pare, sabi niya, pare, ayaw na namin matalo sa San Beda. Gusto namin, ngayon pa lang round one, matalo na natin ang kanilang rivals. Ganda nga ng uh, mentality ngayon ng Letran Knights, laban tong laban. Even though they're at 1-2 and in San Beda is at 3-1, and one. hindi nila inisip yon yung record. Hindi nila inisip kung nasan sila ngayon sa team standings. It is a different atmosphere, syempre kapag rivals, San Beda and Letran. And for San Beda, the game is not yet over. Seven points lang naman ang uh, lamang dito ng Letran. And for them, they still have a lot to prove. And uh, syempre kailangan nilang mamatch yung intensity dito ng Letran Knights. San Beda leads all... The series, all-time series in this rivalry in San Beda Letran, 27 to 20. That was since year 2000. Magbabalasa ng tao si Coach Jeff Napa. Ipapasok niya si Alex Mandreza. Alexander Mandreza for the first time this season will come in. And also Tommy Hidaria starting the third. He started this game as well. Yes. Here's Nabata. Underneath. Okay, Maui Bernabe. Napulot ni Moko. Soberano. Tomekada. Yes. Para sa press. For the kid from Taglac. AC Soberano. Ganda talaga ng stroke ng bitaw nitong si AC Soberano. Once he get his rhythm going, aba, delegado yan. Magsusunod-sunod yan. Kaya pag-usapan nga natin kanina na malamig ang panimula ni AC Soberano kanina in the first half. Soberano was 0 of 3 from 3-point country before that first 3-pointer. And good setup by JV Mokon as the San Beda fans, San Beda students are really happy na nakatres na si AC. Bolling. Nahanap muli si AC Soberano. That time he misses the putback by Adamos is good. Ben Adamos, one of the one of the surprises last year nung na-injure si Donald Tanqua and getting this starting spot para kay, para kay Coach Boyd Fernandez. Bolik wants this pick. Bolik, tumikada ng isang yes para sa tres. 
At San Beda nakuha muli ang kalamangan sa larong ito, 35 to 34. Just like that, big three-point baskets by Soberano and Bolik ngayon. They got that go-ahead basket. And we have a ball game. And napagkakamali na naman dito ng Letran Knights as we can see Robert Bolik getting this pick from Adamas for that pull-up three. At sabi mo nga, Dre, yes para sa tres. Another lead change and getting this momentum back para sa San Pedro Red Lions. Dalawang minuto, almost ang nakalilipas sa ating third quarter. San Beda started out firing here in the second half. Kung ano man sinabi ni Coach Boy Fernandez at the half sa kanyang mga bata, e eh, gumana, Soberano, isa bang yes! Para sa tres for AC Soberano! And that's what we're talking about for AC Soberano. Isang tira lang, isang tres putos lang ang kailangan niya para umilit. With that pull-up, Jay, let's take a look at this replay again. Bolik to Soberano, outsmarting the defense. Christian Balagase, Asus Soberano, yes! For that three-point shot. Sobrang exciting itong laro nito. Napabili tayo, nagpabili tayo ng kwek-kwek at visual dito. Nakakaguto eh. Alam mo, partner, nagkape na ako kanina eh. Pero ayoko na magkapilid, baka mamaya mag-loose tayo dito. <laughs> At syempre, Mac Cardona, idol from uh, Oy, DLSU. Captain Hook. Captain Hook, nanonood ngayon. Nanonood ng NCAA, si Captain Hook. Mac, Mac Cardona, idol yan. Lamang ang San Pedro, tatlo, 38-35. Doliges, back to Mokon. At to... Bolik now Mokon and a foul down low. It will be on Balanza. May konting yapos kasi mula sa depensa ni Jeric Balanza. Not the proper way to play your defense. And kitang-kita ng ating uh, official yun. Bolik to Mokon mula sa labas. At nagpapaula ng San Beda na yes! Back as a dress, make that that's just a two initially ruled by our officials. But let's see if they will review if he was stepping on the line or not. Nambata all the way. Good move. The spin by Ray Nambata. And so far, they have to make an adjustment if for Coach Jeff Napa dahil nga na kick na yung outside shooting dito ng San Beda. Holding foul. But from that angle, hindi natin makikita if Mokon was stepping on the line. Ito naman yung drive. Inambata kontra kay Bolik. Ganda ng pihit niya. And Ray Nambata today already at 9 points for the Stingray. JB Mokon scores there. And true enough, partner, that uh, shot by JB Mokon was only ruled as a 2. Four straight points para kay Jimmy Mokon. Balanza. Umatake si Jeric Balanza. Balanza keeping things close. Para sa Letran, may gist puntos na si Balanza. Gist din para kay Calvo. Here's Mokon. Back to back to back baskets for Jimmy Mokon. Doing a la Captain Hook on that shot. Oh. Baka nalaman na nanonood si Mac Macardona sa atin ngayon. Nambata, good up pick. And good look to Kito. What a move. Highlight play from the Stingray to Bong Kinto. Sagutan na ng baskets ngayon para sa dalawang kuponan. Nagkakaroon ng mga opening dito sa kanilang mga depensa. Doliges. The kick out to Bolling. Nag-isip. Lumapit si Robert Bolik, umatake, ginamita Robert ng banda, it's good! Coach Jeff Napa, napatawad ng timeout, dehado ang kanyang kopunan ng lima. Robert Bolik on your screen, skin se puntos for the man from Ormok Leite. Kami po yung magbabalik, ito pong inyong NCAA live on SNA. We're going to be back live tayo sa SNA at SNA HD, channel 166 on Sky Cable. Andre Felix po, kasama si Mix Bustos. Magandang hapon po muli sa inyo, mga kapamilya. Saan man kayo nakatutok? 
sa Luzon. Visayas, Mindanao. Yun, malinaw. Kitang-kita natin. He was stepping on the line. Kaya kinout lang na dos puntos yun mula kay JV Mokon. Binabati din natin sa magandang hapon sa Vice Mayor ng Binyan, Laguna. Jel Alonte. Katang hapon po sa'yo, Vice Mayor. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok oh, sa NCA. Si, si, uh, si Vice Mayor Jen, malapit itong three-point shot oh, yan. Magkasama tayo sa ABL noon oh. sa, sa Alonte Sports. Gym. Oh, oh. So, yung half court niya, no? Correct. Tama. Balanza, umatake. And off the timeout, that's something that you wouldn't want for Coach Jeff Napa. But they're just down by five here. As we approach the halfway point, the third period, 46-41. Lamang ang San Beda, bowling. Mokon, extra pass to Soberano. For three! Fourth three-point three. basket. Para sa Red Lives ngayong quarter and extends this lead to eight points just like that. Nabanggit nga natin kanina kung O of 3 from 3-point country si Soberano ng first half. E eh, bumawi naman siya dito. He's ready to hit 3 three-pointers as Bong Quinto answers inside. Cuts this deficit to 6. Pero for Letran, even if San Meda Red Lions are making their 3-point baskets, hindi nila kailangan din bawiin sa 3. Kailangan patient lang sila. Pados-dos lang, okay lang yun. Basta magkaroon ng stops on their defense. Ako losing a handle on the ball. And possession will go back to Letran. Speaking of, let's go back to Roxanne. Andre makes the dika ng laban ngayon, pero to liven up the mood, kasi mo kasi Kim and Kat, mga senior high school students from San Beda. For you guys, sino ba ang player that best embodies hashtag NCA Strong? Siyempre, si Robert Bollick. Bakit? Kasi laki na na improvement niya since last game. So, kaya na nakikita namin yung effort ng mga players ngayon na mas naging, ano sila, mas naging kumana yung mga Um, ako naman si Davon Potts kasi ever since nung na-interview po namin siya, sobrang naano po sa kanya. Tapos sobrang hari po siya ng hard, ano po, hardcore. Tapos nakaka-proud po pag nakikita po siya. At yan, abangan natin kung paano sila mag-cheer mamaya. Mick and Andre. Maraming salamat sa'yo, Roxanne. At salamat sa ating mga estudyante na mula pa sa Mendiola na tumungo dito sa loob ng Phil Oil Flying Bee Center sa Luxod ng San Juan. Four and nine remaining ng Patak. Good move. Wide open is Bong Quinto for three. Wala. Ball will go back to Mohon with that rebound. Now Bolek. Finds Oftana. Lumapit. Si Oftana bagsak sa sahig. Babalik ang possession sa Letran. Ito si Calvo. Hihintuin ni Mohon. And the ball will stay with the Knights. Good defensive stop there for JB Mohon to stop the break. Ito na nga. Pinasok na nga si JP Calvo ngayong third quarter. Para siguro uh, bilisan yung opensa ng Letran. Calvo really showing his maturity in this game. Talatua goes inside. Palagasay, put back, wala pa rin. Baka sa Letran, bagsak si ng Batak, Mokot. San Beda has the numbers. Oh! And a foul will be called on JP Calvo. And that will be called a technical foul on JP Calvo. Malamang for faking a foul. Bigla na lang siyang nahulog doon. As we can see on this replay, rumarakasa si JV Mokon. Walang nangyari. Walang contact. So benefit of the doubt, most likely, betting natin iso si JV Calvo, but the referee saw otherwise. But he lost his balance. Yes. Any question nga, ang Sanbeda bench. Coach Leo Pujante. Assistant uh, ni uh, Coach Jeff Napa. Ano pa yun, NU Bullpups days. Pero ito na nga, natawagan si JP Calvo ng technical for faking a foul. That's why one free throw will go to AC Soberano for San Beda. Rain ng Batak. And ball possession, Andre. Yes. Rain ng Batak was earlier talking to our official Alan Barian. Na siya yung tumawag nga ng faking a foul. A technical foul on uh, J.P. Calvo. Ang masakit dun, Dre. Nag-count yung basket yes. to Soberano. Na technical foul plus ball possession. Babalik sa San Beda. Eh, kaya ka biglang umangat ulit. Left ang San Beda sa 8. Pwede pa nilang palakahin to sa 10 o sa 11. Bolik. Contra kayo ng Batak. Bolik against ng Batak. Bolik attacks. 
on the offensive board. The putback is good for the big man. You know, masakit don four point swing after that technical. That's why ngayon ten points na ang labang ng San Beda. Calvo, Ubalanza, Nambata. Oh, what a move by the Stingray! Good. Slithering and sliding. Smooth move for Ray Nambata. Yun po ang ating Vivo. Perfect shot. Perfect selfie. So nice. You gotta see it twice. Ray Nambata. One more time. And maybe thrice. <laughs> With that Euro step. Four times. Four times. <laughs> Ganda kasi talaga para hindi mo ulit ulitin. Direct habit. <laughs> Kami po yung magbabalik. Ito po ang NCAA sa SNA. Huwag ka na magtakip, Iha. Kitang-kita ka na ni Direct Abbott Ramos. Smile your own cam ka na lang. Kitang-kita <laughs> rin na excuse naman ang ating mga ladies from oh, Letran. Talaga yung nakakatawa eh. Pag... <laughs> Ating mga nagaganda ang mga estudyante na mula sa San Beda all the way from Mendiola. And our students from Colegio de San Juan de Letran all the way from Intramuros. And speaking of Letran, binabagi natin sa Alamat, sa Atman, Mark Cruz, watching with his girlfriend, Cheska. Namimiss daw niya yung uh, maglaro baka sa NCAA. At ngayon, second trending na sa Twitter ang NCAA Season 93. Maraming salamat po. As Jamie Mokon still goes to work. Mokon, 11 puntos na mix, yung walo. Out of his 11 points coming in this quarter alone. And this dribble drive offense of Coach Jeff Napa gives his players the freedom para gumalaw, para mag-rate ng one-on-one. -on -one. You know, magbabaka nila sa offense. Hindi na nakala iset yung play. Dire-direcho lang. And trust that offensive system. That's why Jeric Balanza will go to the line for two free throws. Nuno Noah. Kabalik ni Coach Boy at Hernandez sa loob. Nalabas niya muna sa Donald Tangwa. Lamang na ng sampo ang San Beda. Here's Balanza at the line. Was also part of that champion team back in season 91. He was a rookie then. Also one of the homegrown products of Letran. So he was able to experience championship here in the seniors division the NCAA in his rookie year with guys like Mark Cruz Kevin Ramal there's uh, the, a lot has changed since that game there are a lot of people here Alvo is still here, Kito is still here Nambatak is still part of the game Bots attack, season opening who beat it to Ere Kito now attacking Nakuha ni Robert Bolick. Oh, and a foul on JP Calvo. That will be foul number two on Calvo. Well, Calvo will that foul with that fastball foul that they sa kanya. Ngayon, San Beda, no first half three, 27 points scored. Pero ngayon, quarter alone, 28 na ang kinakamada ng Red Lions. Wow. So this offensive burst by them, anchored by the three-point baskets of Soberano and Bolik. That's why they're leading now by nine points. And they've outscored the Letran Knights, 28 to 12 here in the third period. Calvo. The hand of Paladua, not up again. Of Tana. Bola ay mananatili sa Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Calvo. Two minutes to go in the third. Balanza has it against Mokon. Losing his footing. Quinto inside. Some way. Oh, somehow. Nakahanap ng buwang si Bong Quinto. Well, lucky break for them. Almost a travel para kay Jeric Balanza. In some way, somehow, ginawa na parahan si Bong Quinto to slice in to that basket. Pots. Still cold from the outside is Devon Pons. Oh, and a traveling violation. Traveling Called on Nunu Noah. Nauna kasi yung hop step doon ni Nunu Noah. That's why obvious for the referees no, to call that traveling violation. That was Sandeda's 10th turnover today. Balanza, pupunta sila sa poste. Quinto, pinutosan si Mokon. Balik kay Quinto. Quito still posting a Bohon. Traveling called on Bohon Quito. He was caught lifting his pivot foot. 
Naganda dito kay Bong Quinto. May tira sa labas, may drive. Nandun pa rin yung oh. kanyang post-up game. Pero natawagan ka lang ng traveling violation doon. Nasobrahan yung steps. Gumalaw-galaw yung pivot foot. Pero tama ka doon. Alam mo may poste talaga yung ano eh. Ibata eh. Mm. May galaw siya sa poste. Here's Bolek. Pats. Extra pass to Oftana. Bolek. Eight to shoot. Pats. Three for three. Still no go. The Vaughn Pots. One of eight from the field. One of four from beyond the arc today. Well, for the Vaughn Pots, you just have to diversify your game. If you're not hitting it, hitting it from the outside, better yet, it drive mo sa basket. Wag mo ipili sa labas kung hindi nagwo work. Talo. Taking a strong pot. No go. Bowling. Octana will try from beyond the arc. Balanza secures the board. Oh, what a spin by Nambatak, but will commit an extra step. Traveling violation call on Ray. Fifty-five for the Red Lions. Forty-eight for the Knights. Letran led as much as 10 in the first half. Sanbeda also led as much as 10. Here's Potts. Bolik. Bolik will take a three. And Balanza secures the rebound. Balanza attacking Octana's defense. And Balanza gets that one to go down at the end of the third quarter. Hanging in the air. Closing the gap. At five points, AC Soberano knocking down 11 points. Three three pointers in the third period. Raynam Batak trying to keep his team alive and in this game. JV Mokon, 11 points. Eight of those 11 coming in the third. Soberano and Mokon combining, outscoring Letran. 19 to 16 in the third quarter. For AC Soberano, not clicking on outside shooting just like that corner three and this dribble drive offense. And this great Euro step para kay Stingray against Donald Pankwa. Balanza, the end of the third, hanging in the air. Cutting this deficit of Letran to five, fourth and final quarter when we return. Dito lamang. Sa NCAA, sa SNA.